Another rocket launch from SpaceX, this one a bit different as the payloads will head to the moon now. Two different landers will be touching down on the lunar surface. Yeah, and one of them could give NASA some key data when it comes to future crewed missions. New 6's Mark Lehman is following the latest, and Mark, things appear to go off without a hitch. Yes, yeah, SpaceX and NASA indicating there were no problems with the launch, and the landers deployed on separate paths to the moon. This is a big mission, as it includes experiments that will help with safety for future crewed missions to the lunar surface. And here's another look at the Falcon 9 rocket as it lifted off overnight from Kennedy Space Center. On board were a pair of lunar or landers. The first is called Blue Ghost, developed by a Texas-based company, which is connected to NASA's Artemis program. The lander is carrying instruments that will test satellite navigation, self-cleaning glass that can clear lunar dust, and a vacuum that will collect soil samples. The other lander is from a Tokyo-based company. Resilience will touch down at a different location and deploy a rover to explore the surrounding terrain. Now, after this morning's launch, NASA spoke about why robotic missions like this are important before we send humans back to the moon. We want to send as much science to the moon as possible. It's such a, a great place for us to go. Um, it allows us to, to just learn more and more about the conditions on the moon, about the geophysical conditions, about the solar wind interaction with the moon. Um, you know, we, we can't wait to get the science up. About an hour after the launch, Blue Ghost deployed from the rocket. That was followed by resilience 30 minutes later. Blue Ghost is expected to make its landing attempt in about 45 days. Resilience will take a slower path, and so far, a landing date for that spacecraft has not been announced. Now, another thing coming out of this, Blue Ghost may capture images of a phenomenon called the Lunar Horizon Glow that only the Apollo 15 and 17 astronauts have seen with their eyes. The lander is set to operate for about two weeks. Crystal. Mark thinks it's set to be a busy day for SpaceX. The company is also planning the seventh test flight of its massive Starship rocket tonight in Texas. This is video of the last test in November. And since then, the company says the rocket has undergone some significant upgrades. Blue Origin, meantime, is also still on track to try again early tomorrow for the first flight of its new Glenn rocket. The three-hour launch window opens at 1 a.m. And if it happens, you'll see it right here on News 6.